Okay, so given your continuous random variable as below, so you boleh you boleh nampak ini function kamu itulah probability kamu. Dan kamu boleh perasan x itu adalah dalam interval. Dia bukan lagi macam discrete. X equals one number, one number sama ada for a probability density function. Discrete, kalau discrete, probability distribution function. Kalau continuous, probability density function. So nama dia lain. So di mana PQ adalah constant, probability given is 1 over 2, find your value of PQ. So, how do you find the value of PQ here? As it already said, X is a continuous random variable, means the total of probability must be equal to 1. So when you're having total of probability equals to 1, we want to find the probability from our function, means we're going to find the area under the graph. So for this interval, we will integrate 0 until 1 for px plus 1, respect to x, then plus, and after part of our area will be integrate from 1 until 2, x plus q, dx, which is equals to 1. And we have another information set that you want to find the probability until 0 and 1 is 1 over 2. So from here, when you're setting probability 0 until 1 is 1 over 2 means this region, kawasan sini, probability dia adalah 1 per 2. So bermaksud integrate daripada kosong sampai 1 untuk function px plus 1. The area will be equal to 1 over 2. So by using this information, you can notice that means this part, this part actually is equal to 1 over 2. We can substitute here. Then we can solve for Q first. So integrate x, you can add square over 2. In the great constant, you get Qx. Upper limit 2, lower limit 1. So this 1 over 2, we move to the right hand side. It will give you 1 over 2. Simplify this. So substitute upper limit here. 4 over 2 plus 2q. Minus lower limit, 1 over 2 plus q. So finally, you have Q and then 2 minus 1 over 2. Two minus 1 over 2, it gives you 3 over 2. When you move to the right hand side, it will become negative 3 over 2. So Q will be equal to negative 1. After that, Continue finding this Px. So integrate Px. Power tambah 1 over power baru. Integrate 1, you get x. Upper limit 1, lower limit 0. So substitute our upper limit. So 1 over 2p plus 1 minus 0. So finally, 1 over 2p. Negative 1 over 2. So p is equal to 1. p equals to negative 1. So therefore, we are clear, P is negative 1, Q is negative 1. So our interval here, we can notice that our complete function will be P negative X. Then Q is negative 1, so X minus 1. So this is our complete function in order to find next questions. So for next questions,
you are finding probability in between 1 and 2. So you are finding the probability in between 1 and 2 here. And look at the information that you given here. You notice that the probability between 0 and 1 adalah 1 per 2. So, probability untuk 1, probability di antara 1 dan 2, we take 1 minus this part. Correct? So, we can take 1 minus, 1 minus the probability in between 0 and 1, which is already given. So it will be 1 over 2. Probability x more than equal 1.5. So we know that this interval having area 1 over 2, which is having probability 1 over 2. This area also having probability 1 over 2. So look at here when you want more than want your x more than 1.5. 1.5 is located here, 1.5. So more than that means we're going to integrate from 1.5 up to 2. Not a bit about the 1.5 area. So so a little bit to maximum sampai do was a jela unto kawasan sini. So you bear in mind when you're finding probability for continuous random variable, you are finding their area. So you need integration area under the graph. So integrate this. There will be power plus 1 over new power. Integrate 1. We get x. So we just write out our step where upper limit minus lower limit. So how about finding probability x less than 0 0.5? You see your x location, x location 0 0.5 located at here, less than that is this area. So we're going to integrate 0 until 0 0.5 for the function negative x plus 1. Boleh nampak kawasan sini? Ha, so ini lah graph dia. So same procedure, power plus 1 over new power, integrate x, you get 1. Then substitute your upper limit minus lower limit. Alright, then continue. For E, you want to find probability x more than 0 0.2. So look at your interval. 0 0.2 is here. So you want to find this area more than 0 0.2 up to 2. So kalau kita nak kira, kita akan kira 0 0.2 until 1, satu bahagian graph. 1 until 2 lagi satu bahagian graph. So, ada dua kiraan kat sini kan. So, lebih cepat, kita boleh ambil maximum 1 minus this part. This part we don't want. Before 0 0.2, we don't want. So, for more than 0 0.2, we can 1 minus the part in the grade 0 until 0 0.2. Untuk the first interval sini, bahagian depan sini, dia tak nak. Negative x plus 1 dx. So power plus 1 over new power, upper limit, lower limit. So make sure you write it clear.
Okay, then 1 over 4 until 5 over 4. 1 over 4 to cosine point dual lima. 5 over 4, 1.25. So you look at the interval here. You will be located at 0 0.25 here, this region. 0 0.25 until 1 here. Uh, until 1.25. So your region here will be involved two functions. So when you want to find the probability, we have to integrate for this area and this area. So we'll integrate 0 0.25 up to 1 for negative x plus 1, then 1 up to 1.25 for x minus 1. Two different functions here, so two different areas. One over four up to one. Then continue one until five over four. Another region x minus one. Power plus one over new power. So write it clear. Okay, at your upper limit minus lower limit. Then after that, you can evaluate using your calculator. Okay.